My name is Miyako. I'm just your average high school student in love with the Shyants. By the way, I don't like Radish and the opposing team's anthem. I've been interested in going to the batting center in my time off, because the Shyants won't win in real life. I've been making the Shyants win in the game. Go Shyants, win again! Wow, what a loser! This lady's playing games alone! Well, she really is alone. She must not have any friends. They're so annoying. I don't want to play games here either. I'd rather watch the Shyants, but I can't watch. Because... Because... It's the off-season. Who decided you couldn't play baseball during the winter? All of the baseball stadiums are domes now. Just blast the heaters and it'll be fine! Actually, I guess that's not that good for the environment. Just hold it back, Miyako. You can do it. The players will get stronger and better after this winter. <laughs> you can't even say anything back? What a loser. I would rather go home and practice some swings than deal with you kids. What are you talking about swings? This girl is crazy. You should always just let the idiots talk. Apparently, People are saying that the Shyants steal money to pay and win tournaments. But some people know that's not true. I ignored the kids and made it home. Miyako, you're late. I've been waiting for you. Um, hmm? What's up? Did you forget what today was? What? They're doing the baseball special program on TV. Are you not going to watch it? Um, of course I'm going to watch it. Let me explain what program we watch. It's a special program that gathers players who have been let go by the league and document what has happened to them. It's actually a little bit depressing, but I have to watch it since I'm the baseball maniac. This year, Fujimura left the Giants. I'm sad about it, but I can't keep being depressed. I have to keep trying to make the Giants win. I have to bring the Giants to victory while my grandfather's still alive. I am running out of time. But this is only a limited amount of things I can do. I will keep doing what I can, though. Speak up, don't lose. You won't be able to join the Shyants like that. Um, I don't want to join the Shyants. Yeah, I'm actually a Tigers fan. And who says speak up nowadays anyway? Recent studies have shown that being loud during your practice has improved results. You're still not going to be vocal? Uh, you shouldn't make Miyako mad. We won't be able to go home. True. Okay, fine. I'll be loud. I am working as a manager of the baseball club to try to see good players to the Giants, but I am not too confident in my players. It's not a problem of skill, but gall. I don't want to complain about the generation, but where can I find myself a genius? Then one day, I was planning to go on a run on my day off from club. But then my period came, and I decided to go for a walk instead. Ugh, I don't feel good. But if I take off just because of this, I won't be able to keep up during practice, even as a manager. As I was walking along the river, I saw some kids playing baseball. Pretty impressive considering how cold it was. Wait, baseball? Hey, catch it! We won't stop until you catch at least 1,000! Please, let me stop! What a shame! I'm pretty sure that they're just using baseball as a tool to pick on someone. I won't let them use baseball for this. I went to stop them. What are you doing? Stop! Who are you? Oh, you're that lady that always plays the baseball game alone. You're that kid. After looking closer, I noticed it was those kids at the game center who were messing around with me a while ago. You're annoying. Let's take care of it. What are you two planning to do? I'm gonna hit you with this bat. Yeah! Ow! One of the kids came tackling me and I stumbled surprised. Hero, it's your chance! All right, here we go. Number four third baseman, Nagashima on the way. Snap! The kid was called Hero, actually swung his bat up and smacked my stomach as hard as he could. <sighs> <laughs> take that! It actually didn't hurt that bad. I wear a protector under my jersey. I bought a new one for my club and was checking how it felt. I didn't want the catcher that might end up going to the Giants to get injured. Oh no, you're bleeding! Oh my gosh, 
she is! Lady, you're bleeding! Look, Mazda, she's bleeding! Oh, gosh! Blood? When I looked down, I was definitely bleeding. I guess that had moved during the commotion, and my hand somehow came into contact with a spot that was bleeding. Maybe I could use this to teach them a lesson, actually. W what is this? Did my intestines explode? What? Intestines? Explode? I'm so, so sorry! I didn't expect that to happen! You did it for me. I'm so sorry. The kids were more scared than I expected. I think this is it. Whatever will I do? Lady, please! I'll do anything! Please get better! Me too! Me too! They're starting to look like a comedy skit. Anything, huh? I like that. I think because of my intestinal explosion, I only have 10 years to live. What? N no way! How could this be? Before I go to heaven, I wish I could see the Giants win a tournament again. Giants winning? That's impossible! It is impossible! If you guys become players for the Giants, you could lead them to victory. Wait, us? We can't do that, can we? We have to do it! We already said we would do anything! That's true. Lady, we're gonna do it! We're gonna make the Giants win! Th thank you. That was way too easy. I didn't stop to look because they were playing baseball. I could see that they had natural talent. Maybe they could be useful if they work hard. Oh, and don't worry. I told Taro that my intestines were fine. Taro was just being bullied anyway. I told him that it was his choice if he wanted to play ball or not. But then he just told me that he wanted to repay me for saving his life. I thought he was a little dramatic, saving his life and all. But, whatever. Then, on my day off from club work, I trained them. Hard. Honestly, it was practice that even a high schooler would run away crying. I can't do this anymore! Give me a break! If we give up here, we'll never bring the shines to the champs! My intestines! The old intestinal damage! Okay, okay, we'll do it! Dang it! That's what I'm talking about! Sometimes, I snuck them into the high school grounds to practice. Oh no! The neighborhood troublemakers broke into the school grounds with no permission! Miyako, you let them in. No, I didn't. You do realize how angry the powers that be will be when they find out. No, those troublemakers just snuck in on their own. Uh, they do have some talent, though. Maybe they did just sneak in on their own. Make sure they come to us when the time comes, though. Wow, you're a baddie, too. Don't call me a baddie. Our coach used to be a professional baseball player and is excellent at what he does. You can't go wrong with our high school. This is all part of my plan. After that, Hiro and Masa stopped bullying Taro. Taro's actually the leader of the pack now. He's got the most gall. I graduated high school and college. I now work as an adult. The Giants never actually won. But I have good news. Those three kids became high schoolers. They're now at my Alma Matters baseball team. We are gonna go to the championship, no doubt. Yeah, then we're gonna get drafted into the Giants. Of course, all three of us. I'm so glad you three grew up to be this way. All the blood, sweat, and tears I poured into training them paid off. They're first string as freshmen and everyone is interested in them. If they keep it up, they may really lead the Giants to the championships. I'm just waiting and hoping while I work to see them do good. Hey, Miss Miyako. Yeah? I got tickets to the Giants game. <laughs> Do you want to go with me? I appreciate the offer, boss. But I kind of lose myself when I start cheering them on, so I'll pass. So no matter who it is, if it's someone in the company, I'm never going to a game with them. Uh, but come on, let's go. I'm sorry, no. My boss is always inviting me like that to go see the Giants. Part of me definitely does want to go, but I really messed up before. That was right around when I had just joined the company. One of my managers invited me to a Giants game, and we went to watch together. Oh my gosh! We just witnessed a historical moment! Yes, yes! Hayato hit 2,000 runs and I lost myself. I grabbed my manager's hair out of excitement. I'll leave the rest up to your imagination. 
after that. It's been super awkward with my manager. Okay, Miss Miyako. How about dinner? I know a great place nearby. Sorry, I'm gonna go watch the game. Oh, but... Sometimes he invites me out to dinner like that, too. This is honestly a little annoying. I say no within a second, but it's like that sometimes. All of the female employees around me are warning me about him, but I'm not really sure what I need to be careful about. Then, one day, I ended up staying late at work. It's not dark yet, but I won't make it back in time to see the game. To make it back in time, I walk through a quiet park. Then, what's going on? <laughs> I got you now. Let go of me! A crazy guy with a ski mask wearing a science uniform grabbed onto me. I swear I've heard of this voice before. I can't tell who it is because he's changing his voice. He's really strong too. I don't think I can shake him off. And then... The, ow! A stray baseball smacked him in the head. Are you okay? What are you doing to her? You're done for. What about practice? That's what you're worried about? We were jogging, then we heard your screams. Oh, so you weren't just skipping. Seriously? Anyway, what do you want to do about this guy? Oh, uh, I'm just a Shyance player that was passing by. There are no people who let go this bad on the Shyance. Don't play around about the Shyance. I retired from the Shyance. Retired, huh? I see. Then teach us a thing or two about baseball. That's a great idea. Teach us. I have an idea. Let's hit some balls and see how the ex-professional players catch. I agree. Then they started hitting the ball. I was excited to maybe see a professional player's catch, but... Huh, an elementary schooler could catch that. You're lying about being a retired player, aren't you? W wait give me a timeout. You don't have time for a timeout. Oh, oh! After about 10 minutes... <sighs> it's so hot. Wait, boss? Crap, I took off my mask. Wait, he's your boss? I don't believe it. I'm never gonna forgive you. How could you pretend to be an ex science player? Uh, that's what you're concerned about? You better get ready. This next one is from me. Please, I give up. Just let me go. Uh, ow! And then we kept swinging away and making him catch all of the balls. He was basically just slumped over at the end. He was torn up. What should we do about him? I mean, we should probably call the cops, right? I agree. No, that's not enough. What? He pretended to be the Shyance. This is not enough at all. Lady, that's not where you should be angry. I kept making him swing for the next hour. His hand was all kinds of messed up. He just fell over on the spot. This exercise was super intense. I doubt he'll be able to move until tomorrow. He deserves more, but I'll let it go. Time to go home. Um, you should probably call the cops. Nah, I won't make it home on time to see the game. It'll be done already anyway. I might catch the post-game interviews. Excuse me. A cop? I heard that there was a young woman picking on an older gentleman. Picking on him? Uh, perfect timing. Let's tell the officer everything that happened. No, I need to go home to watch the game. Wait, where are you going? Wait! Against all of my protest, I got caught by the police and taken to the station. Then my three students talked about stuff I said to leave alone. I ended up staying at the station too long and missed the game. <sighs> I hope Grandpa is recording. Apparently, the boss also went to the station. He wore the uniform because he thought that I would be excited. I wish he'd give up. I would never be happy just because he wore the uniform. This is all because of that stupid boss. I'm gonna swing the bat at him tomorrow. But then, he disappeared the next day. He was apparently arrested because he assaulted a female. I didn't know he was that kind of person. If I see him again, I'm gonna punish him. Then a few months later, I saw him when he came by to pick up his belongings. Please, forgive me. Leave me alone. Wait, I'm gonna swing. You need to catch. He just ran from me even though I chased him down. I thought I could fix his rotten personality, but he ended up getting away. He was dumped by his family and he sits around the river now. But he loses his sanity when he sees the Shyance uniform or logo. What a disrespectful man. 
I actually got in trouble from the students. You have no sense of danger! Fix it! Seriously, just because you want to watch the game doesn't mean you can walk in a dark, quiet place. Don't ever do that again. Ugh, I'm sorry. Just go practice. You won't bring the shine to the champs like that. No, you haven't learned your lesson. I agree. We should chew her out for at least two more hours. Wait, the game starts in an hour. Let me at least make it at home by then. Seriously? Take better care of yourself. You're our VIP. VIP? Yeah, exactly. The MVP and the team will marry you. Why are you deciding things for me? Let's do it. I got this. No, I got this. I don't care if you make the Giants win. I'll marry anyone. It'll take at least 10 years. Or so I thought. Five years later, someone made the Giants win and proposed to me. I said okay, and I didn't realize that I loved that person. This person would make me happy. I would become the wife of a Giants player.